Hey guys, how's it going? So last time we got set up with this sample uh, send email code from the PHP Mailer GitHub page and all it does is send a, a simple email to uh, an email address that we specified and the content of course is fixed. What we're going to do in this video is start working towards our end goal which of course is to allow the user to enter their email address and we'll send the email to that address. So let's make a start. We're going to start by creating a new file. I'm going to save it as request reset.php so request reset.php and what I'm going to do is take this uh, php block from the index.php page okay so I'm taking that so the only thing on this index page is this html uh, block now and just uh, put this php code in the request reset page okay so I've just moved this php code from the index page to the request reset page Okay, now going back to the index page, there's only one thing we need to do on this, and that's just to put a link in here. Of course, this will be your login page, you know, this will have your login uh, form itself, but if, for the purpose of the demo, I'm just gonna have one link on here. So I'm getting rid of sandwiches, I'm just gonna put my anchor tag, all right, here we go. And the link is just gonna take us to this request reset page. So request reset.php, which of course is the page we just created. And I'll just say forgot password, all right. Ooh, if I can spell it right, forgot password. So now on the index page, it just has uh, this forgot password link. And when I click that, I'll go to this page, which of course will send the email just like we did before. Okay, so the next thing we need to do on this page is to actually put the text box that they can use to enter their email address. All right, so they're going to have forgotten their password. So they go to here, they type in their email address, and it's the email address that we're going to send their reset password link to. So underneath there, under the PHP block, we're going to create our form. All right. Now, usually forms take an action attribute, which is the page you want to send the data to. But because we're going to send the data to this page that we're currently on, we're not going to add the action attribute, which means it will send it to this page. So what we're doing to do, though, is specify the method. So on the form tag down there, I'm going to say method equals post. All right. So we're sending this data through the post functionality. And then all we need to do is put a simple input in there. So input, all right, so input tag. And the type is going to be text. So it's a text box. The name can just be email, all right, and then the placeholder can just be uh, email like that. And what I'm also going to do is specify auto complete is going to be off. So when we click on this text box, it won't offer a drop down suggesting email addresses that this user has saved in their in their uh, browser. You can get rid of this if you want. If you want the browser to suggest email addresses for you that you've used elsewhere, uh, just don't add this. But I'm going to keep it. And underneath that, we need to put the actual submit button. So I'm going to say input like this. And then type is going to be submit and then the name is just going to be submit like that and then the value which is the text that's going to be displayed on this button we can just say reset email like that all right and what i'll also do is put a, uh, a line break in there as well so that this uh, submit button will appear on a, on the line below the text box obviously you wouldn't really use this in a practical sense you would probably style this separately but because it's a demo i'm not going to spend time styling it so i'm just going to use a line break just to make, put a simple form on there so that we can see it okay so i've just made some space underneath there just so it brings this up a bit close to the center it might be a little bit easier for you to see that way anyway great so we've added this form now we just need to write some code to check if the form is submitted so what i'm going to do scroll up underneath there we've got these requires i'm going to uh, write some code i'm going to say if and then is set like this and dollar sign underscore post inside square brackets i'm going to put the name of the attribute i'm looking for and we're going to go for this uh, name right here so whatever name you've put inside your email text box use that so i've put email so i'm going to go up to here and put is set post email like that so this is saying if uh, this data has been sent through to this page all right so if it has, they've obviously submitted the form and they're trying to reset their email. Then what we're going to do is copy all this code, so all this PHP code from there. Okay, I'm taking that. And I'm just going to put it inside of this if block. And then because this isn't aligned correctly, I'm going to highlight all this and press tab and it'll move it over to the right. Okay, just to make the, uh, the code a little bit neater. All right, great. So give that a save. And if you refresh the page now, um, Sorry, if you click on this link, I should say, click on the link, you should see we have this form now, and it won't have sent this email because this form was not submitted. And to see if this works, what we're going to do is uh, send an email to the email that they have entered. So what I'm going to do is take this uh, post part right here. So taking that, copying it, I'm not cutting it, I'm keeping it there as well. But what I'm going to do is right at the top of the if statement, I'm going to say email to equals and then paste that there. And then what we're going to do is take this email to uh, variable, copy it, and replace this uh, email inside the add address uh, function call. So replace that with that. Now, any uh, email that you enter, it should send it to that instead. So let's try it out. I've saved that. Let's go back to here. And I'll enter the same email address. I'll say courses at reesekenny.com, like this. 
and then press reset email and we say message can be sent so we have an error and I think I know the reason why it's real simple to fix go down to here and I've put the uh, variable like this but when you're using a PHP variable inside of a string you need to use double quotes here so these are you single quotes I'm replacing those single quotes with double quotes if you want to put a PHP variable inside of a string like this, you have to put it around double quotes. Now, I'm just thinking about it. We don't actually need the, the quotes at all. I don't know why I added those. So uh, let's just change it to that instead. It would work all the same if, even if you had the double quotes there, but let's just uh, do that. So I'm going to uh, press refresh and it will send the same data again. You could just re-enter your email address, of course, but that's the same thing. But when you refresh your form, it will resubmit the data. So that's what I've just done. So it says um, message has been sent. Let's see if we get that showing now. So I'm pressing, I'm pressing refresh here, and here we see the email, great. So if you have another email that you use, maybe try sending it to that as well, uh, just to make sure it works, you know, just another step of verification, but I'm pretty confident this works. So there we go, a good step forward. We've added the a text box, which allows you to enter that own email address. Wish all the hashtags, likes and tweets will find a way to get lost. Yeah, how about I?